log on to www.haverswasp.com. Hello, this is uh, Joop again. This month we have a very special thing. Look, he has videos, he has posters, he has DVDs, he has original photos from the movies, he has everything. His name is Bill Winfield. How, what, why? There's a magic about Laurel and Hardy. Yeah. It's their love for each other, their caring for each other, it shows in the movies. Stan was a comic genius, and whatever he did, worked. Many people who are not in the knowledge of the movies, and you mention Laurel and Hardy to them, they think you go around dressed up as Stan Laurel and Laurel yeah. and Hardy and scratching your head or doing yeah. something stupid. You don't. You can be a collector of their movies, you can be a collector of their records or tapes, you can be a collector of their autographs, you can be a collector of anything to do with them. Yep. There is a serious side, there's a middle ground, and there's a stupid side. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you know the word slapstick in England? Slapstick, yeah. Yes. What is the difference between slapstick and Laurel and Hardy? Slapstick comes from a stick that they used in the theatre, in the pantomimes, which yeah. when they hit each other made a noise and it was called a slapstick. Ah. That's where the word comes from, slapstick. Chaplin was slapstick, the Three Stooges were slapstick, Yeah. but Laurel and Hardy had more, they took a simple idea like going to work in a factory yeah. and what havoc they could cause. See how high is that? It's, 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 a, it's a derby. Well, I guess there's nothing else I can do. <laughs> it wasn't slapstick, it was yeah. pure humour. Yeah. Uh, you have a, a, a big collection with uh, funny items. What is the funniest item you have? The funniest item I have? Yeah. Uh, the funniest you item. Look around. I, I, I think be crazy. those two dolls up there. Yeah? The two dolls which I, I got in uh, Atlanta last year. Ollie wore a bowler hat. Yeah. Stan didn't wear. He wore a derby. In 1984 we were going to have the convention and I wanted something special. So he made clay models yes. of Laurel and Hardy in from the photographs and I chose which models because he made several and I said that one and that one because he made this look like Arthur Scargill. Is there an item you want to have which you don't have? Oh, is there, is there uh, a big wish? Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. An item I would dearly love to have is one of Stan's hats, bowler hats at Derby's. Yeah. Or the original, but, uh, the original fez which I've put on, I've worn, yeah. the original fed he wore in the movie Sons of the Desert. Yeah? Yes. That yeah. is one item I would... We will ask or somebody has <laughs> it. <laughs> there is one yeah. movie that I would, I would give eye teeth for, which was produced in the early 30s. There is a film called um, Where They Move a Piano Up the Stairs. Yeah, this is a famous the, one. The famous one. But before they made the movie, they made a trial movie delivering a washing machine up the same stairs, a similar story. Yeah. And that film was called Hats Off. Yes. Hats Off. That film was last seen in the 50s. But I've gone up and down those stairs. The stairs are still yeah. there. The yeah. steps are still there. And several sons of the desert have gone up and down the stairs. Yeah. In Holland we say the dikke and the dunne. Did you know this? Yes. Uh, that, that so say it for me. Dikke and the dunne. Dikke and the dunne. Heel goed. <laughs> or in, in Germany, dick and doof. Yeah, dick and doof. Dick and doof. Yeah. Yes, the fat yeah. and the thick. You mean uh, in England is there a... Uh, Laurel and Hardy. Just Laurel and Hardy. No uh, thick and thinny or... No, no. Flip and flap in Oslo, in, in Norway. Yeah. Uh, and there's a different name for it in Sweden, in Denmark. In China? In, in China uh, even in China. Chuck and Joy. And we stopped at this little little village in Africa. At the end of the at the end of this dirt track there was a little cafe. So we found this freezer at the end of the cafe. And I opened the lid of the freezer and inside was a big picture of Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> in Hong Kong and we visited this little tiny little yeah. this little temple where they worshipped. Yeah. 
and on the altar, amongst all the candles and all the bits and pieces, there was, was two pictures of Laura <laughs> Harvey. <laughs> this is fun, eh? And that made my day. Yeah. I went to Egypt a couple of years ago, going around the souk, the back streets, and into the back markets. I found a Laurel and Hardy mug. Wherever I've been in the world, I've always found it. Bill, about being stopped by a policeman. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. Some friends of mine were travelling, they were travelling in the South End area. They heard this police siren and they pulled over and the tap tapped the glass and the policeman said uh, wind the window down and my friends thought what have we done have we, we weren't speeding what's wrong is a tail light gun or whatever and the policeman put his head into the window he said I'm sorry to stop you lads he said but could you tell me how I could join the Laurel and Hardy Society <laughs> I've seen the sticker in the back of your car The saddest thing I heard, I think, was I was I, I per, my personal friend Lois Laurel, which is Stan's daughter. We were sitting having a meal one evening in, in somewhere in America. I can't think where, maybe Catalina. I don't know where we were. We were sitting having a meal, and I, I quietly said to her, "I said, what do you think of all this, Lois?" What, what? She says, "Bill," she said, "I wish my dad would have been a plumber." Yeah. And I said, "You're crazy." I said, just think of all the love and affection and caring that yeah. your father has produced by being in the Lola Yeah, of course.